Okay, I'm headed down my driveway and sliding. Brakes are locked and I'm sliding. Look at this squirrel in that tree. I don't know if you can see him or not. Yeah, I'm sliding. Hey, squirrel. <laughs> I'm sliding, but it's not uncontrollable. I'm okay. Once I get on the road, I'll be fine. I got this new little heater. It's actually putting out a pretty good bit of heat. Seems like it is anyway. I'll uh, talk more about that later, I guess. I showed you all this the other day. This turns out to be a really neat little gizmo right here. It's got this little mountain bracket on it, or you can put on it, so that you can mount that to the dash of something like a Jeep and slip that onto there and then aim this towards your windshield. I got a spot right in the middle of my windshield on that Jeep where even if the heater's going wide open it don't thaw it out and a lot of people have talked about a way to update the uh, heater motor on that Jeep to get more heat out of it but in the meantime this could be a good solution except for one thing it pulls so much power that this plug gets hot and blows the fuse. It blew, I, I gave one of these to my neighbor well, it blew the fuse in his truck right away and then I put it in my Toyota to try it out. Well, that blew, in, blew the fuse in my Toyota. I, I, I made it all the way to work. And I had it sitting on a dash right in front of me. And I could feel the heat blowing on my face in a, in a place where I don't usually get heat. Uh, in that Toyota, I can get heat on my feet and heat out the uh, defroster and heat on the sides. But I don't usually feel any heat in my face. And I could feel it was putting out a pretty good bit of heat. But on the way back home, it blew the fuse on it. Just like it did with my neighbor's truck. And when I pulled this plug out, this plug was hot enough to feel like it's burning your hand, you know. So I'm thinking, well, this is, when something's that hot, this is really a weak point. And it's a pretty heavy duty plug. I can tell they tried to make a good one here so that uh, it would uh, work, but uh, it's not working. And what I'm thinking about doing is wiring this directly to the battery in that Jeep. It's got its own little uh, fuse in it right here. And, uh, I'm thinking, well, if that was just directly wired to the Jeep, <clears throat> you would eliminate this weak point, and then if it's going to blow a fuse, it could blow its own fuse, which uh, is a good thing. Uh, better than blowing the fuse in my car is what I'm thinking. So, if I get where I feel good enough to get out today and it stops raining so I can get out without being in the rain, uh, that's one of the things I'd like to do. This fuse doesn't say how, I mean, if it says how heavy it is, I can't read it with my, it looks like it says 15 amp. So that's not a huge fuse, but that's certainly enough to protect it, I would think. So my thinking is to pass this wire, cut this off of here, pass this wire right through the firewall and hook that directly to the battery. Anytime you put a break in the wire, it's going to lose power. So what I might do is literally put a couple of wire clamps on this or even just wire it directly to the battery on this one and, and have it uh, you know, run right off the battery and use this fuse that's in it as a fuse. That's what I'm thinking. I, I, I will make a video if I do that and show you it and I'll show you how it works too. Um, so as a, as a product, it has a little light in it here too that lights up when you push that button. It's kind of a handy dandy little unit but Hooking it to most things that hook to a cigarette lighter that pull any power at all are going to be problematic, and that's what the, this is. Also, it's nothing unusual about it. I don't know how big a how big a, a breaker I got on my cigarette lighter in my Toyota. Uh, I know my neighbor's truck had a 20 amp breaker, but his snow plow control was also hooked up to his. Uh, that same breaker so that might be why he is blue and it may be that uh, I'll, I'll replace the breaker in my Toyota and see how big it was and it may be a bigger breaker would do the trick but uh, I'm thinking more about using this in the Jeep than I am the Toyota of course I might decide I want one in both of them I like that it warms up instantly while you're waiting for your car to get warm enough to thaw out the windshield this thing's already blowing hot air and when you get in your car and it's below zero, if you got a little hot air blowing on your hands and your face, it feels mighty nice. So there's a lot of things I like about it. I might just have to re-engineer it a little bit to get it to work the way I want to.